my dear. Just forget about what she told you. Whatever she's done wrong here, I'm apologizing on her behalf. You don't have to, Father. I have decided. I'd like to take the children back to my parents' house. Your parents' house? You can't just leave this house. There will be no one left to manage the household if you leave. Father, just let her go if she wants to leave. Oh, Luchi, I believe. I won't be seeing you off then. When you have time, I hope you can pay us a visit. All right? Keep your mouth shut. This is none of your business. Go inside this instant. It's so unfair. <sighs> my child, these houses may be old and worn, but they are still a shelter from the wind and rain. The town is overrun by fighting soldiers. Where will you go if you leave? Father, please let me leave. After I leave, this house will be quiet again. There's just no place for me in this family. Please don't say such words, child. I know it very well. How exhausted you are doing housework on your own. Liu Ji is at home. And the hardship has been passed on to you. This is all my fault. I haven't disciplined this family enough. And you're the one suffering. Father, don't say that. This is my fault. Because I haven't been a good wife. I had decided this early on. Might as well do it now. I will entrust everything to you. From now on, you are the head of this family. Do you hear me? Please promise me this, my child. You must not leave us in this house. No, father. I don't deserve that position. If you don't agree, I will kneel until you agree. Father, what on earth are you doing? I cannot take your place. Then you must promise me that you will stay. Please don't go. All right. I won't leave. Don't start eating yet. Hmm? Before we have dinner, there's something I'd like to announce. Starting today, Li Che will be the head of the family. Every decision, big or small, will go through her first. What? Now her word is also my word. You will obey her in everything. Even I have to obey her. Do you understand? My child, here they are. These are the house keys. I now leave them all to you. I'll do my best. Please don't worry. Challenges. You are home now. What of your hands? Uh, it is nothing. Even if we've lost our fingers, we would still return and fight for your general. My lady, who are these people? I heard that there are all the remaining survivors. Out of fifty something soldiers from the Battle of Wang Chang. I am grateful to all of you. Guard, my lord. Bring them somewhere comfortable. They need to rest. 
Understood. Thank, Thank you, General. General. The Marquis of Chang'an, you're the Marquis of Luan. You're both that's equals. Right, yeah. that's All right, right, that's enough. <laughs> I hear you already. My brothers, it is true that I'm now a Marquis, but so what if I am? Huh? It's nothing important. It is merely a title that I got. And besides, I wouldn't have gotten that title if it weren't for you. So that's why right now, what am I called? What should you call me? Call me Liu Ji, understand? Right. Lord of Pair's a point. And don't forget we are still no match with Shang Yi's army. Right. Huh? Yes. But that doesn't matter right now. Today is still a happy day. And what we should do is to drink to celebrate. Let's drink. Come on. Yes. Yes. Let's Let's celebrate. celebrate. I understand what you're saying. I get it, General. Now rise quickly. Thank you, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. This matter is of utmost importance. Please make a decision at once. Thank you, General. You should rest now. Thank you, Your Majesty. In your opinion, should we grant his request and lend him soldiers? Your Majesty, Chang Han is fighting in all four corners of the land. His strength is unrivaled, but his army is already uh, stretched far too thinly, and he has forgotten that he has left his rear open. If we send soldiers to attack him from behind, it could mean victory for us. The morale of his army would plummet, and he will have a problem in his hands. In other words, we have a window of opportunity. Your Majesty. I will now proclaim Wei Bao as the King of Wei. Understood. Raining for several days now, I do not think this meeting will take place. What should we do? My lord, if we just wait, opportunities will never arrive. We have to go find them. How will we do that? Let's sit. My lord, Weibo has arrived in Peng Chung and paid his respects to the King of Chu. His brother, the King of Wei, has bowed down to the pressure of Zhang An's army, but he couldn't bear the humiliation and has set himself on fire. He came to borrow soldiers from the king, didn't he? That's right. My lord, Wei Bao is not an ambitious person, but still, he may be able to provide us with some help regarding this matter. He can still help us. How so? My lord, we can use him to speak for us to the king, because the king holds him in high regard. In other words, the soldiers he's asking from the king will be coming from us, am I right? That's right. But tell me, do you think he will really help us? My lord, how can he help us if we don't talk to him? He wants to weaken our forces. I'll go talk to the king. 
Hey, uh, do not complain about this matter. Why should I not complain? And don't throw this on the ground. We plugged that king out of a herd of sheep. He should be listening to me instead. The king of Chu is no longer that shepherd that we once knew, and we cannot really blame him. Song Yi has been blowing nonsense into his ear all this time. That's Song Yi. He really is a self-righteous bastard. And what does he want? The king has always feared the might that the Shang army has. Song Yi is just taking preventive measures against us. Besides, I think that the entire kingdom and all the citizens already know who the real pillar is of the kingdom of Chu. You shouldn't even get angry because of all these trivial matters the king of Chu has been doing. And as for the matter of the king appointing you the title of Marquis, although I know that it really doesn't suit your, your ambitions, I feel that you should accept it. Even if it's just for the meantime, accept the mandate and keep the title. Someday you'll lose it. And that's because this is not your place. The Chu Kingdom is too small, and a dragon like you cannot just live in a pool forever. Isn't that right? your majesty the best on reclaiming the Wei territories and avenging your brother. Thank you. Your majesty, my lord sends an invitation to your majesty to his manor. He has already prepared a banquet in your honor. Liu Bang? I have already heard of him. But regretfully, I have not met him. I have not seen him in person yet. That's why I gladly accept his offer of hospitality. Thank you, Your Majesty. It's only proper for him to be the next king. Proper, perhaps it may be. But this new king of Wei is no more than an arrogant fool who doesn't know when death is right before him. Why do you say that? Chen has taken over Wei. The king of Chu obviously wants Wei Bao to fight against the Chen army. But against Chang Han's army, Wei Bao's warriors will definitely lose. It's glaringly obvious they are no match against Chang Han's army. This Wei Bao trying to get himself killed. That is true. But the Wei is at the back end of the Qin army. The defenses there are poor. Mm. But should they lose the battle, who will go to their aid? Who will save them then? Let's see how he will deal with that issue. Your appointment as the King of Wei is definitely a cause for celebration. It is our honor to have you as our guest. It's a truly joyous occasion. Here. Your Majesty, a toast to you. Come, King of Wei, a toast to you. Isn't it the Duke of Pei who invited me here? Where is he? Why is there no sign of him? Uh, Your Majesty, the Duke of Pei had too much wine in the palace last night. Now he has caught a cold. The doctor is seeing to his needs and providing him relief right now. I hope that 
You can forgive him, Your Majesty. If he is not feeling well, then he should not have invited me today. Yes, you are right. That's why, as a gesture of his sincere apologies, my lord has sent two of these beauties here to keep you company while you're here. Send these two beauties to your room tonight, Your Majesty. They will be the ones to attend to you. Oh. <laughs> King of the Duke Lane. of Lane really precedes his reputation. He's generous and a good friend. No wonder his subordinates are loyal to him. Come, King of Way. Let's have a toast to you. Let's have a toast. Let's drink. Toast. Bottoms up. Come on, let's drink. <laughs> <laughs> My king, yeah. you've come to borrow soldiers from the King of Chu. It seems like you are determined to take back the territories of Wei. That goes without saying. I must do everything to avenge my brother. My king, <laughs> there's something I would like to say, but I'm not sure if I should. There is nothing we cannot speak about. What is it? King of Wei, the Wei territories are now under the control of the Qin Kingdom. Zhang An's army is very powerful indeed. Our army has also suffered a great setback in Ding Tao because of him. I hope that you will be very careful of him, my king. I am not afraid of him. I still have a score to settle with him. Unfortunately, most of our subordinates are afraid to fight against the Qin army. So I have no choice. I have to take it slow, one step at a time. King of Wei, it is true. You are indeed valiant to take them on. But then, once the battle begins, you have to be very careful. Or else you will not only end up losing most, if not all, your soldiers, but you may end up failing the King of Chu as well. Do you have any suggestions? If it so happens that there is an allied army who will fight against the Qin army with you, the two armies can work together to corner the enemy. Wouldn't that situation be better for you? This is a dangerous mission. Who else out there would be willing to help me reclaim Wei? If you have no objections, the Duke of Pei's army is willing to fight with you, Your Majesty. With the Duke of Pei by my side, I'll feel relieved. I'd be more confident fighting Qin. But is this true? Yes, it is. We will support you, Your Majesty. That's right. Your Majesty. I wonder if you could find a time to tell the King of Chu about my suggestion. I will do so tomorrow. That is fine. <laughs> tomorrow it is. <laughs> Your Majesty, I hope that you will not let the King of Chu know where this idea originally came from. I hope you won't let him know that joining our armies in battle against the Qin is the Duke of Pei's idea. And why should I do that? As you may know, his soldiers are experienced fighters, and the King wouldn't want them to leave his side. If you request our soldiers from the King of Chu, he might still agree. But if you tell the King that it was the Duke of Bay's idea, then he might reject the idea. That's right. That is also what worries the Duke of Pei. Also, we are risking our lives here by talking about our Lord's concerns with you. King of Wei, forgive us. The two of you are very cunning indeed. But your loyalty to the Duke of Pei is very admirable indeed. If I had subordinates like you, just imagine the things I could achieve. King of <laughs> Thank, Thank you, King of Wei. Let's drink. drink. Bottoms Toast. up. Please, Let's enjoy yourselves. Your Wait, Lord Shao. Are you really going to Wei with the King of Wei? He likes his drink and women. That's all there is to him. Associating with him will do us no good. But for now, our priority is to break away from Xiong Yu's command. That's all that matters. So we'll help him. We'll aid him in reclaiming his homeland. Not necessarily. In times of chaos, to gain a foothold, one has to do what others do not even dare consider. But our forces are not strong enough. 
Let's see if the king will lend him soldiers first. Then we'll decide. Liu Bang wants to join forces with the King of Wei to attack Chen, but this Wei Bao is indeed foolish. He ruined this possibility on his own. How pathetic of him. Liu Bang is now marquee. He wishes to increase his men and gain independence. He's not a simple man. Now you understand your sworn brother more than you did before. Liu Bang is not a simple fellow. He keeps looking for any chance he could get in order for him and his army to break free from us. Liu Bang is a man with high ambitions. If you lose our grip on him, he would be like a wild horse that refuses to be bridled. I do not want to think of the consequences. He will not be much of a threat to me. Besides, he and I, we are sworn brothers. If I suspect him, it'll only hurt our friendship, am I right? Here, drink this. What friendship? In a chaotic world like what we are living in, who still values friendship, huh? Benefits, of course. But friendship, over time, it costs too high a price, but let's not talk about this. We better not. Isn't that too much? Sworn Father, are you saying that the friendship between us is not real? It's not the same between us. I don't have much time left in these old bones of mine. I'm helping you right now, not only to restore the kingdom of Chu, but also to give you enough wisdom to walk farther so you can reach greater heights. That is what I truly aspire. The others, what they want is to take advantage of the chaos to their benefit. I understand what you're saying. I'll pay heed to your warning. Let us wait for now. Soon enough you will see the real him. I'll wait for that day. Your Majesty, why do you seem so upset? Look at this. Just look at this. He's asking me to go to Peng Chung. Who does Xiong Yu think I am? How rude. Calm down, Your Majesty. For a brash person like Xiang Yi, this kind of thing is hardly surprising. Hardly surprising? In your opinion, I should go and answer his summons? Huh? Your Majesty, this palace is not the only place where you can be the King of Chu. <laughs> if Shang Yi is being arrogant right now, that's partly because you have promoted him. So what is it then? What is he thinking? Your Majesty, it is possible that Shang Yi may have two motives here. First, he wants to show off his power over you to the whole kingdom and let the whole world see that even Your Majesty, the King of Chu, obeys him. Second, he wants you to deploy the army, but only if it is according to what he has planned. Your Majesty, Xiang Yi is becoming more and more dangerous. Yes, you're right. He thinks that I am king only because I had his uncle's support. He is so arrogant. He doesn't show me even a bit of respect. Your Majesty, since Xiang Yi is asking you to go to him to discuss military matters, why not take this opportunity to inform them of the merging of Lu Chen and Xiang Yi's armies? Tell them how after both armies are merged into one, the combined forces will then be under your majesty's command. Show my power to gain dominance. But what if Shang Yi refuses to heed my command? Disobedience is treason. Your majesty, please believe me. It's worth the risk. I have decided. Let's go. Good. Lord, Lord Chow. Chow.
is big news. Sheng Yu wants the king to come talk to him in this camp. What? That is downright offensive. So what, he is also ordering the king around now? That's right. My lord is still outside the city. Sheng Yu is up to something. The king is in danger. I don't think so. Even if he is Sheng Yu, I don't think he will dare harm the king. Shang Yu may just do something to botch our plans with the King of Wei. What do we do now? Let's stay alert and observe what happens. It's true that Shang Yu may be very angry at this time, but I doubt that he will rebel against the King. There's still something keeping Shang Yu in check, and that is the memory of his beloved uncle Du Shang. Also, I'm sure Fun Zhang knows very well that killing the King of Chu will not benefit Shang Yu at all. But Shan Yu is a very impulsive man. Who knows what he will do? Brothers, enough talk of this for now. Let's go welcome the Duke of Pei. Please, Lord Shao. The King of Chu has arrived! Where is His Majesty's welcoming committee? Your Majesty, no one's coming. Should we still enter, or should we, uh... Majesty, I, I didn't know you had arrived already, Your Majesty. Forgive me, I am to blame. Lead the way. This way, please. The King of Chu has arrived, General. The King is here already, General. Don't be rude to him. Oh, you're here. I've been waiting a long time for your arrival. I fell asleep. Forgive me, Your Majesty. General, you have done so much for the good of our kingdom. You must be tired. You must be really tired. <sighs> General Shang Yi, you haven't bowed to the king. Go. Oh. No need to be so polite. Thank you, Your Majesty. I have come here today to your camp, because there is something that I would like to announce. Zhang An's army is way too powerful. I am worried. You may not be able to handle this battle on your own. So that's why I have decided you must retreat our army as far as you can from Zhang An's army. Retreat from Zhao territory, go to Lu Chen's army. I, Shang Yi, have never walked such a shameful path with my warriors. General Shan, watch your words. I'm a soldier. I'll say what I want. I only know how to fight. And how to win. Good! How to win? <laughs> I like that, General. But, General, if you cannot defeat Chang Han, what will you do? Then I will accept any punishment from you. I really want to know. If we happen to lose the Kingdom of Chao, then, General, what exactly are you willing to do? If that happens, I will retreat as you asked, and will give up my army. Good! Your Majesty, General Shang Yu is a man of his word. I'm sure that he will do as he promises. All right. We will listen to you. Regarding this matter, we will do as you say. Oh, but at the moment, we do not have a commander-in-chief. Your Majesty, I am worried I, that nobody can take over this responsibility. Oh dear, it seems that I have no choice. I will just have to be the commander in chief myself. Oh, once we find the right man, I will give him the seal at once. You are wise, Your Majesty.
been attacked by enemies. He's badly wounded. I trust no one else to take care of him. Except Miss Yu. Miss Yu? General, are his injuries severe? Oh. I've given him medicine. I've also bandaged his wound. Miss Yu, please take care of him. Take care, General. My lady, let's just keep quiet. Let's keep the truth about Shandi. Let's not tell the General. He said it before. Once he finds who killed my family, he will take that man's life. But that man is Shangdi. He's one of the General's closest friends. If only I were cruel enough, I would avenge my father right now! General. Lost our lives for the king, and what do we get? 
Humiliation! Humiliated by a woman! A king is unjust! Why do we protect him? I'd rather rebel against him! Are you with me? Yes! yes. rebelled and killed the King of Tao. He has also surrendered to us. I've heard about that. Then what should we do, General? <sighs> General Wang Li, come look at this. Tell me, what do you think of this diorama? Paving roads. The previous emperor would make sure of his own safety when he traveled around the empire. He never let outsiders know where barriers were or which carriage he rode in. You are right with what you said. And now, what we have to do is to build a paved road across the battlefield. On the battlefield? General, that will not be of much use to us. Who said so? This paved road will guarantee the safety of our Chen army. You don't believe what I say? Let's wait and see what will happen. There are many different warlords coming to fight us. But the strongest among them are the Chu. General Wang Li, any report on the Chu military? After the death of Shang Liang, the Shang army has been reduced to less than a third, especially after Minister Song Yi's proposal of dividing their army's forces. But still, Shang Yi's bravery in the battlefield has won him great support from the citizens of Chu. Even when Song Ye managed to weaken Shang Yi's army, this only made the citizens sympathize with the general situation. Now they support him even more. Among all the warlords, Sheng Yi is the best in battle. He's also the most ferocious. He has even gained more support than his uncle Shang Liang ever had. He's an even bigger threat. Unless we are fully prepared for battle, we mustn't fight with him. The roads have been paved. What now? Should we return and travel through those roads? No. We will march even farther north. We will attack here. We will attack the Chao camp here from the north of the Yellow River. All our enemies are watching us closely. Wouldn't it be too dangerous for us to continue attacking them right now? General Wang Li, is a tiger in danger? If he is surrounded by sheep, the Zhao army is in turmoil. And General Li Liang has already surrendered to us. This is the perfect time to strike. And unless I'm completely mistaken, striking now will make their other allies more afraid of us and nobody will come to the aid of the kingdom of Zhao. And then after that, we can start conquering the other kingdoms, one by one, until finally, we take over Chu. I've made my decision. Just do as I asked. Understood. children. She would take care of me when I'm sick. I was dazed earlier and mistook you as my sister. War is everywhere. And because of that, I haven't seen my sister. The last time that I saw my sister, it was the day of her marriage. I don't even know if she's dead or alive. Since you saved me, I, Shen Di, would like to call you sister. But only if you don't mind. I'm willing to do anything to show you my gratitude. <coughs> I didn't save you. It was General Xiangyu. 
Then I will pay back my debt. I will show my gratitude to General Sheng Ye in the battlefield. Like this, I'm now all alone. I no longer have any remaining family waiting for me after this war. I will consider it. My greatest honor, if I could consider you my sister. To be honest, when I saw you for the first time, I had this feeling of familiarity. I suddenly got this feeling that I may have seen you somewhere before, but maybe I know you. You should not be moving around. Drink this, then lay down. Sing to your sins, your sins, your sins, your sins. 